Hey guys, I'm Lizzie, and I'm here uh, recording my second ever vlog for you guys. Um, thank you for your questions on Twitter and Facebook. Yeah, I think we're just going to launch straight in. Um, okay, so Wayne asked, what other female artists are exciting you at the moment? Quite a few, actually. Um, I've just pre-ordered Katy Perry's Prism. Um, I really like Dark Horse. I thought it was really cool. Uh, it harked back to some quite old school hip hop, which I thought was really interesting. I really didn't expect that from her, so that was really cool. Um, there's a song, what's it called? Clarity, um, by Zed, and I think featuring Foxes. Um, and yeah, I've been listening to that quite a bit. I was actually just listening to it at the gym. And I really like that track. I think it's it's really cool and it's just in my head. So yeah, that's kind of who I'm listening to at the moment. But actually, if you guys have any ideas for other artists that I should be listening to, you know, female artists or male artists or groups or whatever, um, I'm always, always looking out for new music. So yeah, put them on Facebook because I would love you forever. That would be awesome. Um, okay, Michael, who has been your favorite person slash people you have performed with and who would you want to perform with in the future? Okay, well, I didn't actually perform with her, but... Uh, we performed in the same concert and my favorite person she was amazing um, would have to be Bonnie Tyler it was it was incredible she was here in New Zealand a couple of years ago um, and we were both doing the same concert um, I don't know what it was maybe it was the fact that <laughs> when I was a teenager um, we did Footloose at my high school and I just remember screaming, um, holding up for a hero down my hairbrush for about three months while we were doing the show. So yeah, that was awesome. And who would I like to perform with? There's so many. I think there's so many incredible New Zealand artists as well. Um, like, I, you know, I've always loved Holly Smith and uh, Nika Moore. I think their music is incredible. Um, and I'd be really honoured if I got the opportunity at some point to perform with them. It'd be awesome. Um, okay, Heath asked, what is your favorite thing about living in New Zealand and would you ever want to live anywhere else? What is not good about living in New Zealand? It's amazing. Um, I probably my favorite thing about living here is just that my friends, so many of my friends live here. So yeah, it's really awesome being able to catch up with them all the time. Um, it's just so beautiful. We have amazing summers or we have recently... Uh, the beaches are incredible. The mountains are amazing. I think we're just really lucky. Um, and would I want to live anywhere else? I really love London. You know, all the time I've spent kind of tripping around and writing music and going to art galleries and shows and performing over there and, you know, working with musicians and producers over there and other writers. I just think it's an amazing city. And, um... Yeah, I really love it. So, yeah, I would love to live in London at some point. Um, John asked, when will you do another tour of New Zealand and would you meet your Facebook fans on the tour? Totally. Um, I would love to meet you guys. It's my favorite part of doing a show is going out after the show and meeting people, you know, signing CDs and signing posters and, you know, hearing how, how you guys thought the show went and whether you liked it and it's cool. I love to hear about what music is resonating with you and just chatting. It's really cool. Um, next New Zealand tour, hopefully soon. Uh, there's so much amazing, exciting stuff. Well, I'm really excited anyway. Um, it's going to happen over the next kind of six to 12 months. There's new music. Um, Finally, I'm so excited about sharing this with you guys. It's been so long. Thank you for being so supportive uh, over this time, and I just can't wait. So soon, hopefully. Um, Rob asked, what was on your last rider? Oh, you know, like, I just can't deal with green M&Ms. I can deal with all the rest of them, but just not the green ones. No, I'm kidding. Kidding. Um... You know, there's nothing really that rock star. It's just basically, like, I have a tech rider for all the equipment, basically, that we need. Um, probably the only thing would be a bottle of wine. I mean, we all know that I like wine, but that's for after the show. So nothing really that rock star. I'll have to work on that. 
Um, and last question, Ruby, who's 11. Hi, Ruby. Um, Lizzie, did you get 1D autographs for me? Sweetheart, I'm sorry. No, that it was um, like unbelievable. The whole 1D thing. I took my baby cousins to a One Direction concert. Um, crazy. I didn't know that there were that many 14-year-old girls in New Zealand. It was bonkers um but yeah my manager manages one day in australia so i was at the langham on sunday catching up with her and it was just crazy so no i'm <laughs> sorry no autographs no autographs maybe next time um but yeah thank you guys so much for all of your questions and it was awesome talking to you and let's talk again soon okay see you guys bye